The problem with modern comic creators is they don't have actual real values. They don't have life experience. And so everything they see is through the lens of their internet outrage when they sit on Twitter all day and see these identity politics crazies just going off time after time after time. And that's their entire existence. That's what Tom Taylor is. Tom Taylor can't write a good story because he doesn't know what a hero is, doesn't know what good is. He doesn't know what objective truth is. And it's really sad to watch. And that's why Marvel and DC have gone to the toilet. They've hired all these people who have these kind of fake values. Whew. And it just ruins characters like Superman. All right. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and I have an alternative to Marvel and DC that's going to knock your socks off. This is Overmind, my science fiction graphic novel. It has action. It has adventure. It has real heroism. It has patriotism that's unbridled, unabashed, unashamed. This is what real heroism is. Check this out. You'll see a stark difference between my writing and the writing of Tom Taylor. You're absolutely going to love it. If you love all the great stuff from the past when comic books were great, this is going to be the book for you. Don't miss out on it. It's only on Kickstarter for 39 more days, and then it's gone. All right, we're crushing it so far. Thank you, everybody who's backed. I really appreciate you guys getting us to 17,000. Crazy. This is the best we've ever done. And uh, here's the worst that's ever been done. <laughs> we know that this has been failing uh, in the comic book sales department. They made Superman into a gay man who's uh, making out with some pink-haired weirdo. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's really gross to look at that they're uh, grooming children with children's books like this. And now you see how it is. Uh, Superman, son of Cal al writer Tom Taylor, says John Kemp being an empathetic young bi guy is far more heroic than somebody punching a supervillain in the face. Oh my gosh. Just existing is heroic. That's what they say with these pride. Here's all the cringy pride stuff that they're putting into these comics these days. A, a young bi guy with a penchant for pacifism is far more heroic deed than somebody punching a supervillain in the face. Now, here's the thing about heroism. Heroism is about danger to yourself, going out and helping others, not being selfish. Identity politics is quite the opposite. The whole point of it is selfishness. The whole point of it is doing whatever feels good to me in the moment. Let's do it in the road. You know, that is uh, hedonism. It's evil. It is gross. Uh, it's a sin. Pride is a sin. Lust is a sin. All of these things are bad things that they're trying to hail as good. And they're trying to brainwash and manipulate young people into thinking that they shouldn't work. They shouldn't do anything. They shouldn't do like put themselves out there to be heroic to stand against power, things like that. Uh, they should just sit there and uh, and think about uh, having sex and sodomy. Uh, that's all they should do. That's that's what's heroic. This is why it doesn't work. You know, somebody just sitting inside, uh, a dude making out with another dude, there's nothing heroic about that. There's nothing good about that. It's all nonsense. The only thing like that's good is when you put yourself out there, when you put yourself at risk because there's a dangerous guy like Darkseed out there, trying to destroy the known universe, take it over for his evil machinations. And even though he's stronger than you, even though he's got a crazy army, you put yourself out there and try to stop that to save everybody else, the 6 billion people on the planet around you. That's heroic. Tom Taylor's out of his living mind for saying something like this. He shows that he has no idea what good storytelling is, has no idea what heroism is, has no idea what truth is. And it's really sad to watch, honestly. It's sad to watch that this generation of writers is pushing this kind of agenda above everything else. That they're trying to propagandize instead of actually trying to make something good and decent. It's shocking to see. But you know what? It's over. They're losing every single time. Their sales are in the tank with this kind of stuff because nobody wants to read this. Nobody wants to sit there in their off time and be like, gosh, I really want somebody to lecture me on how bad I am that I'm not making out with guys at home. You know, nobody wants to read that. People want to read for escapism. They want to read to see Superman be super, not super, super. Being a better man, being an archetype that we can strive to be, to uh, really push for good in the world. It's really shocking to see. But I expect to see more of this from DC Comics. They've been doubling down over and over and over again with this kind of agenda. So is Marvel. 
And that's why we're here. That's why we're fighting. That's why we're speaking out against these corporations and their government complex, which is trying to groom children at this juncture. We're being super by actually speaking out against uh, everything that is stacked against us, everything that's trying to destroy us. We get death threats. We get hate from people. All because we say, you know what? Time out. This is not a good comic book. This is not a good story. This is not a hero. All right. Support the alternatives, guys. That's what we're doing here today. Overmind is really going to be a big difference for you. You're going to see it, and I'm so excited to get this into your hands. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.